Today is the 29th of uh, April. It's the penultimate day of our conference. Tomorrow we will end uh, with two concluding sessions, one in, in the morning, which will be just the group, uh, the 400 people who are here. And then after the tea break, we will have VIPs coming in, the media coming in. We'll uh, produce a statement um, from the conference, uh, probably something called the Nairobi Declaration on the Today's Adaptation. Today we had a variety of activities. In the early morning, I went off to do a television interview on one of the major, uh, very popular TV programs uh, channels here. It's called Citizen TV, and it's a morning uh, breakfast time uh, chat show for an hour called Cheche. Uh, run by a very dynamic uh, compare, a very young woman, a very capable woman. And she asked a lot of questions, we got uh, questions from the audience, and, and it was a very lively discussion for about an hour. Um, I found out later on that quite a few people had watched it from the conference, which was nice. Uh, and then we had the, uh, the regular plenary sessions and uh, parallel sessions. I highlight the emphasis today on ecosystem-based adaptation. We had several sessions on that. Um, quite a lot of people are interested in that. A lot of people work on it. UNEP, who are one of our major partners, who are also based here in Nairobi, do a lot of work on it. So they were part of that exercise. And then we had the poster session, and then we had another video session as well. And actually, we haven't finished. I'm now going to go and have a post-dinner session where we will hammer out the statement that we will produce tomorrow. Uh, a high-level statement that we will finalize tonight and then uh, hopefully agree on tomorrow and then present to the media and the press uh, at lunchtime. We end at lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, we've had 400 people from 90 countries this time. Last time we had about 300 from 60 countries, so it's gone up considerably. A uh, lot of engagement, a lot of very high levels of energy. People are very enthusiastic, uh, which is good to see. Uh, and tomorrow we have the last day. We don't actually end at lunchtime, although officially the conference ends. We have a number of activities. Some of our partners are continuing uh, to work. The IDRC have a workshop with some of their participants uh, following ours, and uh, so do the Irish Aid group who are here as well. It's one of the things we encourage people to do is to piggyback meetings on ours. We had several people, uh, several groups piggyback meetings pre-CBA9, so they were here early and had meetings, and then there are some several groups who will stay on and have their own meetings afterwards, uh, and that hopefully is minimizes the cost of bringing people to an event like this. So I will do one more uh, uh, blog at the end of the conference tomorrow, uh, and this is uh, the conclusion for uh, the penultimate day of CBA9.